Hi, welcome back or welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about smart profiles in the Stream Deck or Stream Deck Excel or Stream Deck Mini, I believe, as well. And smart profiles, I guess I should go over what they are. Think of them as an upgraded version of folders, but with smart profiles, you can actually set so it opens, you know, based on, it changes profiles automatically based on what app you have open. Yeah, whatever application or app you have open, it will open the corresponding, um, you know, profile, providing this um, mainstream deck thing isn't actually open at the time. But yeah, let's go into how to set it up, okay? So, how you set it up, yeah, do you click on that gear icon like I just did? And then, as you see, I already have three set up. The first one is going to be your default one, okay? So by default, it will say default one. Um, I believe default one or something. You can name it whatever you want by just double clicking on the name and then naming it. I named it my main because that's what it is. It's the main one. And then over here, what I did is I clicked on make this a profile. So what that does automatically, as you see under application, it said default profile. So any application I open that I don't have, um, you know, a profile as it were for, then it would just go default to my main in this case, or default. Um, I have Final Cut Pro, I have Photoshop. To add more, I literally just click this and it adds another one. To erase it, I just hit the minus and then it pops up, are you sure you want to delete it? But let's add it and see what options are here. Now, normally under application, I click other and then since uh, I navigate to the application, you know, to the main application, where to find it and whatnot. And then that's how it detects what you have open. Like since I picked the application, like for example, for the Final Cut Pro one, I picked Final Cut Pro. And then I named this Final Cut Pro. And then that made it so whenever it detects I have Final Cut Pro open, Final Cut Pro will open. As you saw in the video that was playing at the beginning. That was, I recorded my own stream deck and you know, I did it on the computer while I was recording it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, delete this. And I know what you're thinking. Well, now that I have different profiles, how do I access them to add the stuff? Because, um, you know, they just go to an empty profile once you open whatever application you bound it to. Well, that's simple. You just click here and it will let you go to whatever profiles you have. Like, that automatically took me to the Final Cut Pro one even though I don't have it open because this will let me add stuff as I want. I also decided to add a button which takes you back to the main profile in case whatever re for whatever reason it gets stuck. 
I definitely recommend doing that. Literally, all you need to do is go down to, well, go, go down to Stream Deck, Switch Profiles, okay? And then you can have it sw switch to whatever profile you want. Next profile, main profile. If you hit next profile, it will just keep going down in the order of profiles that you have. So we're going to get rid of that. And yeah, I definitely recommend taking the time going through and setting up different profiles and whatnot. It really, really, really comes in handy. As you saw, I haven't filled up, okay, if I'm being perfectly honest, I got this Stream Deck Excel, but I haven't filled up all of the, um, you know, things yet. If you guys have any suggestions, on what I can put on the Final Cut Pro profile or, or on the Photoshop profile to make my whole experience better because you know this is to improve my workflow overall, improve productivity, definitely let me know. But yeah, with that said, I'm going to end it here. Also, quick note, you should probably make sure that you're updated to, I believe, version 5 at least. will get your smart profiles, but ideally you'd want to be updated to the latest version. And... Yeah, that is that. Have fun with your smart profiles. Hopefully, you, you know, enjoy. Also, a quick note, if you need to back up your profiles at any time, you can. So, that's always a good thing to note. And, yeah, with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later.